hey y'all welcome back to my channel so in this video by the title i wanted to do an updated version of pc specs needed to play second life and the way that i want to do this is i'm gonna split it kind of i have it to where i'm gonna tell y'all the pc specs like i'm gonna have them i'm also gonna have the stuff on the screen too and then i have it listed for firestorm so settings like say if you just want to use firestorm or something settings for that and then like say if you're like no nah, i want to use black dragon i'm gonna have pc specs so that you're able to run black dragon and more than likely if you can run black dragon you can run firestorm so keep that in mind too for new people out there and then also i'm going to show y'all four options of pcs well pc slash laptop laptops because i know some people that do play second life like on a laptop or some people that play second life on a laptop and a pc desktop whatever so i'm gonna have those options as well and then also i wanted to tell y'all the price of my pc specs and a disclaimer if you've never known this i always have my pc specs in the description because people would ask me frequently like back then when i first started really getting into second life people were like what are your pc specs and should i get this for my computer i don't know what i should get this is it so i was like you know what i'm up on my specs in my description all the time it don't matter if it's a sims video second life enjoy so if you are ever wondering you know and you wanted your game to look like mine you can get the same specs as me to get graphics and stuff like that yeah before we get into the video let me tell y'all the estimated total of my pc specs so this is like my cpu my graphics card and my ram an estimated total for that with all the tariffs inflation all the etc is around 1600 to 1700 i know y'all probably like dang for three pc parts that's the total my graphics card alone is like 1200 well if you go on amazon right now they have my graphics card on there for 1200 the graphics card that i have there i went ahead and bought that before the new year because i already knew about the tariffs that were we're possibly going to affect us the consumers and i was like you know what i'm not gonna wait and then i wait and then the price of my pc parts that i want to upgrade go up so i was like you know what let me just get these parts now and so i ended up getting my graphics card in like december i had got a new graphics card a new power supply and a new cpu the cpu the price of that is still around the same it's like 300 400 i think but the graphics card which is like the main component you need for real for real for good graphics on second life that when up a lot and when i bought it it was like 700 something like i literally be going back to my amazon cart and i'll be looking to see how much the graphics card was before and it was 700 something and then when i go try to look for that same graphics card on amazon they'd be like oh no you can get this for 1200 it's the same graphics card but because of the tariffs and all that and high demand and not enough supply it's 1200 so but there are some substitutions y'all can get instead of getting the graphics cards that i have obviously keep that in mind getting into the pc specs for or firestorm for firestorm i have and i will also have these on the screen and in the description so if you did not hear me or if you just want to copy and paste and look it up yourself you can so for firestorm i put intel i5 or ryzen 5 for the graphics card i put a nvidia gtx 1660 super slash an rtx 2060 or you can get an AMD 6600. And then for the RAM, you can get 16 gigabytes DDR4. And then for storage, you need to get SSD. So that's for Firestorm. Those are like basic specs for Firestorm. And then, so these are the specs for Black Dragon. You will need an Intel i7 or an AMD Ryzen 7. For the graphics cards, you would need a NVIDIA GTX 3060 Ti or you could get an AMD RX 6750 XT. I ain't gonna lie, all these numbers are confusing. Like I said, I'm gonna put them in the description. So if you're like, what? You trying to follow along with the video to like search these up yourself, I got y'all in the description. And then for the RAM, I have 32 gigabytes DDR4, or you could do DDR5. And then for the storage, it says NVMe SSD. Don't even know what that is, but yeah. The only thing that I really kinda sorta know a little bit about is like CPU, graphics cards, and RAM. RAM is the easiest thing, to be honest, like the easiest 
graphics cards are a little complex because if you get Intel, you can't get Intel and NVIDIA together, I don't think, because it all depends on your motherboard. Also, keep in mind of that too. What I did when I upgraded my PC parts, because I've done this before actually, where I tried to research PC parts of my own, and I sat there and I did that and got the wrong PC parts. I went up to the, the computer place and was like, oh yeah, can y'all put these in my computer? I waited a week. I call up there, they like, oh yeah, nah, we wasn't able to put the PC parts in your computer. Either you gonna have to get this or you gonna need a new motherboard a new motherboard gonna be like 200 dollars. and i was like bro what and it was because i didn't get the right cpu i think for my motherboard so please pay attention to stuff like that that's why i said use chat gpt i know y'all probably like damn you always saying use chat gpt chat gpt is my google now like for real for real you can tell chat gpt what you want oh i want a low-end pc or i'm thinking about getting this cpu and this graphics card but i don't know what ram to get or i'm thinking about spending this this much but i don't know what pc part to get they will literally help you with that compared to going on google and stuff you're gonna kind of have to do the work yourself if you go on google that's why i said chat gpt makes it so so much easier and to make sure you ask chat gpt are these parts compatible because chat gpt will tell you oh yeah they're compatible no your motherboard is not compatible with this so yeah i ain't trying to buy the pc blow up make sure you confirm or even if you call a computer store maybe best buy micro center whatever you got to do to confirm your parts are compatible do not just assume please don't just assume but anyways like i said i separated it so that i have two laptops and then i have two desktops slash pcs one laptop is under a thousand dollars and then the other laptop is under 1500 and the one that's under a thousand is the one that's for firestorm like if you're just going to be using firestorm and then the one that's under 1500 is the one like if you want to use black dragon and it goes same for desktops so i have two laptops two desktop recommendations for y'all so we're gonna get into that so this is the first laptop as you can see it says only three in stock so i don't know what it's gonna say when y'all see this video but um this is an acer laptop which is basically a gaming laptop just to put this out there if you're thinking you probably can play second life on a macbook chromebook maybe like a hp little cheap laptop negative second life is really a graphics based game even if you play firestorm with the lowest of the lowest graphics for one it's probably gonna not be as enjoyable as other people's games you're not really getting the best out of second life because the main thing about second life is graphics it say 658 dollars but you know when you add the card plus tax they add on maybe ten dollars and some more so we just gonna round it up to 700 spend 700 dollars on a gaming laptop and you should be fine if you're playing other games on this laptop i'm not sure because like i said you make sure you have enough storage so that you're able to play second life or whatever but if you're just strictly playing second life or maybe if you want to create uh, that all depends but if you're thinking about downloading a whole bunch of games fortnite 5m then you know it can affect how your gameplay is with second life strictly using this for firestorm you should be fine this is the under a thousand dollars option that i suggest and like i said i will leave this link in in the description as y'all can see oh i did not mean to uh. but as you can see like the specs and stuff so and then most of these are unavailable so you either have this one or i don't know so this is the second option this one is also under a thousand dollars but i still put it to where it's under 1500 but this is not that much to be honest i would suggest you buy this because you can use firestorm and black dragon on this laptop and it's only like maybe a couple hundred dollars more expensive so but i understand times are right now if you do not have the funds to be able to get this one then of course like i said get the one that was 600 something and then this one has way more options well it says see available options i ain't gonna lie when it says this see available options they finna show you something that's expensive like it's gonna be way more like look it's gonna say see buying options see how to price um 
it's kind of about the same but most of the time when they say see buying options it's going to show you something more expensive so just put that out there a good little 900 dollars. it's going to probably be nine something ish because of tax they be taxing at checkout so this is the first the desktop suggestion that i will be telling y'all as you can see only five in stock why is everything out of stock or getting close to being out of stock so this one is another cheap option you can see the pc specs windows 11 ryzen 5 16 gigabytes the graphics card is a 1660 this is the storage for it and yeah this is for firestorm specifically for firestorm this one cheaper it's funny how this one is cheaper than the cheapest laptop I suggested y'all it's weird but anyways okay so for this one this is the black dragon version so now we're getting a little bit more pricey so this is for you know if you do want a desktop and like I said you're like no I want to get the full enjoyment out of playing Second Life and I want to be able to use Black Dragon and not be restricted to Firestorm. I would suggest get this PC. My computer is actually from the brand Skytech Gaming. So I will suggest Skytech do got some good computers. Y'all can even go to their website, Skytech Gaming, and then type like desktop at the end and their site should pop up. But Skytech has some good computers. My first computer from them was by Skytech. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of didn't like it as much. At the time I did, but you know, as I started knowing more and more about PCs, I didn't really like it as much because all my PC space needed to be upgraded. So yeah, Skytech has a lot of budget-friendly PCs. And then they also have a lot of good quality, more expensive PCs. But with this PC, you're able to use Black Dragon Firestorm if you want to create, I don't know, Blender, Photoshop. What other apps do people use? I actually forgot. Like those are like the two apps I know people use. You can do all of that on here. So the graphics card in here is a 4060. Um, It has a right and seven in it and it has 16 gigabytes of ram if i was to go check out this probably would say like 1200 and some change so these are my pc and laptop recommendations hopefully y'all can find y'all something similar like i said y'all can for sure go to skytech gaming skytech gaming has good desktops good desktops matter of fact i'm gonna show y'all real real quick so this is skytech gaming amazon sells a lot of their pcs like a lot a lot a lot so they have the way they rate their pcs is on a scale from like okay i think like okay best good ultra meaning like the best of the best good is like is good and then i think it goes to best i'm not sure it doesn't show they just say good and ultra because i know look okay so this one says best okay best I think that's a good price for best maybe it only starts off as good i think the lowest quality they have is just good or no quality at all i don't know uh, or maybe these haven't been rated yet i'm not sure but anyways if you're thinking about getting a pc for skytech gaming they ship fast like super duper fast um they have customer support and yeah i'm just gonna click this just to like show y'all it shows you the specs all of this stuff blah 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 oh this got a 5080 in it dang didn't those just come out okay anyways it shows you like the games the basics like fortnite i think like most of the time they be having gt on here but i guess not um i don't play none of these actually none of these it shows you benchmark scores if y'all care about that if you're like a pc nerd then you kind of know what the little benchmark stuff is i kind of know what that is but not really so and then you could choose if you want to add a warranty to it so if something was to happen and something broke you could get a refund like I said, um, all of the stuff that I said, I'm going to even leave the Skytech link in the description too, so y'all don't got to Google it. All of the specs, the PC slash laptop links that I suggested, all of that will be in the description so y'all can just click, click, click and go add the cart, whatever you want to do. And yeah, typically it just depends. Right now, the most frames I'm getting is like 60. If I was not recording, maybe I probably would be getting up to like 100. It depends where I'm at. I don't know. My Black Dragon be tripping sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. Fire Firestorm, I always begin 100 frames. I could be recording. I could be taking a picture. I could just be shopping regular. I begin 100 frames on Firestorm. And I think I have my settings on high, like high, ultra, whatever it's called on Firestorm. And I still begin 100 frames. So anyways, hopefully this video was helpful. Like I said, the last time I did a video talking about PC specs was, I believe, 2023, maybe 2022. I'm not sure, but it's been a while. Every now and then I still get people that comment on that video and they 
they asked me like oh should i get this pc spec should i get this this is an updated version y'all can be able to get the full experience out of second life regardless if that's firestorm or black dragon make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i will be back with another video